Welcome back to another painting session. Now I'm going to do big painting here. Uh, very different from the smaller paintings I have been doing up until now. And if I could do this painting right, I think it will be definitely one of my best I have ever made. That is if I get it right. But I think I will. I will take two days to do this. Usually I would make a painting in much less than two days. Uh, usually like a few hours perhaps. This one I will do, uh, oh, it's, it'll, it'll be over two days. Um, but it will, I'm guessing maybe 12 hours working on this, which I usually don't ever spend on a painting. Maybe one or two, but this one is also another special case. Oh, you, I'll put a lot of detail into this one. That is because I am going to do two environments in one painting. I'll show you the sketch here. Now, as you can see, the title here, Mystic Portal. What you see here is a portal, or what I will make as a portal to a world that looks like this. Planet with a ring around it, crooked mountains, fog, a lake, and a beach. And then it's going to harshly transition into a forest setting with dark skies, trees, rocks, a path to that portal, what have you. All of these things will culminate together to make what I think will be a very, very good painting, but we will only know at the end of the video. And of that, you all will stick with me at the end. Now, the first part, uh, it will be in the same video, of course, but the first part for me will be the inside, here. I will make the red landscape here. I'll make the tent first, of course, and make the rings, the mountains, the lake, the fog, the beach. Once that is done, I am going to get this cardboard stencil. Now, I don't have to have a row, I don't have to have very clean edges as I will cover it with tree bark and tree branches. I'll cover it wherever the seam may be, I'll cover it with branches. That will be the cover uh, of the portal. It'll be the ground and the branches up here. Of course, the leaves, I don't plan for them to go in front, maybe up here, but that will be the extent of it. And after those trees are made, then I'll make a red transition out to make it look glowing. I will also use neon paint for this one to add that extra shine to it, that extra little glow on a UV black light, which I will show you at the end of the video. Now, once I am done, I'll let this thoroughly dry, and then I'll place this down, and then work on the space. Once the space is done, I will lift this up and never use it again, as I wouldn't need to. Once that space is done with the spray cans and everything, I don't need the stencil anymore, as everything else will be done by brush. Everything. Maybe except for this, maybe I'll do a, a broad green here, but that's the extent of it. Uh, the trees here will be a mainstay, but I may change the trees in the back. I'll probably keep them the same with good shadow, but that's pretty much it. I may have a moon up here, but it wouldn't be a big one. But yeah, that's the extent of it, of the intro at least. I can only really show you how this is really done in painting. And that's what I'm going to do. I hope that you all will stick with me until the end of the video. And I hope that you enjoy the video as much as I will. And I will go over this again at the end of the video. Enjoy the time lapse.
And here is the finished product. This took me a very, very long time to do. I would say maybe a culmination of 12 or so hours sprung across three separate days, uh, starting on this, it would have been Tuesday, and then Thursday, and then Friday. So this, today, so this Friday. So three, uh, not consecutive, but three days um, of 12 hours span across. So please excuse me if I seem a bit tired, as even today I've been working on this for quite a while, <clears throat> and I still have more to do after this. Not with the, this particular painting, of course, but for something later. But I'll be using this to point out the issues, as I can't just, you know, bring it up like I would with the smaller ones. Uh, but this is what I will do. I'll point out the issues and then I will have UV here a week flashlight to be fair but it will still highlight the neon lights that I have strewn across. 
uh, to start the most glaring to me is the leaves. The tinting with the red is fine. I wanted to have the closer leaves to be having more red than the outer ones and only the leaves that would be affected to the ones in the back would not be. Uh, but they are too bright, like the ones in the back and even up here, they're too bright and green in this time of day, that being night. You could see the stars in the sky, uh, even the moonlight, even if it were to be here off painting, off canvas, then I still don't think it would be enough. Uh, but I, I suppose you could still look past it as the main focus is here. I think the portal I did very, 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 very well four times. Uh, four very woes. I think I did very good on this. Uh, as you can see, this was the first part that I did, the interior of the portal, and then the last, a few last steps was making the outside. And the, a good amount of neon is in here, as it should be, it glows. Of course, I do have fireflies here, if you can see, like little drains there, the green dots. But there is one issue, if you look closely, that's very glaring and unmistakable, is this right here. I don't know if you can see this little circle here. It's a little drop of heavy neon paint. Uh, at least it is in a corner, but it's there nonetheless. Uh, and when I have the neon light up, it is glaringly obvious that it's there. Uh, I suppose you could say it's a neon koala with how it's shaped, but still, uh, for me, I, I don't like it. Everything else I, I think I did beautifully on uh, of what type of paintings I've usually made, uh, the quality that they have. I think this is very good, uh, very good quality work of mine, uh, well worth the time that I put into it as all of those minutes and seconds were painstakingly making the quality and details of this painting. Uh, to be fair, I, I could do more detail in it, though the details I would have to put in it, uh, it is with techniques of which I do not know of yet. Uh, techniques I have not developed as of yet. Uh, perhaps in a few weeks or even months, I will develop my skills independently and become a much better detail artist and detail maker as I strive to be. Uh, one thing you might notice is this. I will explain this, this is very explainable. The reason why this has a red tint as opposed to the other trees here it is because the log, of course I covered it up with this shadow, but the end of the log is below the end here, making it in front of the portal, making it uh, be affected by the light emitting from it. Um, but to be fair, it's still at an even playing field, so it could still be affected. Uh, but the others are not. It is behind the portal. And a portal isn't just... It's just not just behind this. Behind it, it's, it's over. It's like nothing's there. Uh, it is in front. It is a... Not a um, 3D object, if you will. It's 2D. Um, well, I think it's not affected in the back, but in the front. If you were to go behind these trees... I believe you just see nothing. That's the type of portal I'm making, not the two-way portal. Uh, that's why I didn't do this. So I suppose I'm going to have to explain that a bit, but it's very justifiable in my case. Uh, with hindsight, maybe I should have just not had this or tinted these as well. Um, but eh, that's fine. I can explain it. Uh, even the tints here are good. Uh, rocks are good, good shadow, maybe a bit more crossed here, but that's fine. Um, like emitting here is good overlap with the rock here. All in all, I think I did good. Now I'm going to have the neon. Just give me a moment while I turn off the light. Now I do apologize if the camera does not adjust well, especially until I have the paint actually set up. Just give me a moment until I get that done. Okay, come on, come on. Here we go. Now, as I cover this, you will see glowing of pinks, oranges, and greens. The pinks and oranges, of course, the portal and the exterior shining through. 
and even a bit of the rocks. But you see these fireflies here, not in front of the portal for good reason, as I did not want overwhelming swarms of fireflies to be in front of this right here. And I think that was a very good choice. Not that I have this. Oh, oh, one more thing. You might also notice that I did not flick the fireflies up here. Only that much, anyway. As I wanted it to be a bit more grounded. To be fair, I wanted some stragglers up here. Make it a bit more natural. But I think I did the layering and placements of these firefly swarms quite well. Now I'm going to turn on light right here. Back to normal. So... Ending thoughts, I think I did fairly well with this one. Uh, good detail, time put into it, well deserved. Um, and yeah, I think overall, I think I think I did quite well. And again, please do excuse me as I'm a bit tired from working all of this. Uh, my next painting, I am not sure, um, but I think I'm gonna take a bit of a break of uh, making 12 or so hour long paintings, if you don't mind. Though I do plan to make quality paintings like this in a similar format, a portal somewhere in here in a different environment. One thing I was throwing about was a portal in a mesa biome. Uh, and I think that I think that would do well with a beach or a very lush environment in that portal. But yeah, that's a possible painting in the future. But for closing, I hope that all of you have enjoyed today's award weather. Tonight's painting session. And I hope that if you did enjoy this painting or the video that came with it, I hope that you would simply take some time out of your day to like the video, comment what you like, what you don't like, both criticisms or compliments, both help me to become a better painter and a better video maker for these paintings. But if you do like what I do, if you've already shown, if I have already shown to you, if you have liked all of that, then I do heavily encourage to not only watch the rest of my content, as I think they are very well varied in quality and in um, utility and circumstance of this painting, but you could opt, opt ultimately simply to subscribe to the channel to be updated for every day, which I upload either a short or a full length video like this one. And until next time, whatever painting that I may be making, I hope that all of you will accompany me for that painting session. Goodbye and good night.